top 10 AI finance tools you must know in 2025. Over the last three years, wars of new AI tools were created. And as finance professionals, if we want to get the best at our job, we need to start incorporating AI into our work. So in this video, I will show you the top 10 AI tools you can use as a finance pro to save hours each day and take your work to the next level. Full disclaimer, I have worked with most of these tools and I know they're funders, but I will never recommend you a tool that I don't like and I didn't vet myself. First, Zebra AI. I love this tool because this is what we want us in finance. Basically just uploading an Excel file and get your reports made for you. Like you can see now, on the screen how it does it and basically zebra ai is the sister of the really well-known tool zebra bi which automates reporting with ibcs standards so for you what it does it automates your report it makes them management ready and it also does the commentaries it describes for you what is on this graph so i recommend you to try it and check by yourself second tool bigdata.com this is a tool which is focused on financial analysis. Imagine ChatGPT, but really based on investing and doing analysis for your stocks. With this tool, what I like is that you can do many graphs, like you can see on the video, but also it has access to data that you don't have as an individual. And why? Because the company behind it is actually a company working already since 20 years to provide institutional quality data to investment company. The company is rabbit back. So what can you do in this tool? Basically, you create your own watch list, then you chat with it and you get real insight live and you can create graphs. And basically, it just saves you so much time if you have to do financial analysis or if you want to prepare reports for your management or even if you want to invest in stocks. The third tool is Moss. Moss is an expense management system which uses AI to recognize what you have on your invoice or your receipt and will book it into your system for you. What is also quite cool with Moss, you can use AI in Moss to do the accounting allocation for the spend that you have from your employees to allocate it in the right categories. The fourth one is a tool that accountants love because it helps automate the finance close process and any other big accounting operations where you have a lot of work. The name is Flowcast and what they do is using AI to automate reconciliations, to do variance analysis, but also what is really cool, if you have the same repetitive journal entries that is happening every month, they have a tool where you can describe with your words what type of journal entries you are doing and you can code these journal entries so you don't have to do it yourself. And by coding, I mean letting literally the machine code so you don't have to code with your own fingers, but you just have to explain how is your journal entry process working. And this is quite cool because they have a lot of developers inside the US really working on AI, the founders believe on that. And uh, I think this is a tool to watch if you have heavy accounting processes, if you have a lot of consolidation, look into that. We talked a lot about accounting, but what about FP&A and financial planning? There is a cool team in the US that is working on making financial planning much more fun, but also much more accessible for other teams than finance. This team is Runway. Runway is like a video game, but to build your own financial planning. And when you go into it, it feels like Notion and you can really type into it, organize your financial model with also the help of AI for you to query your financial model and even to generate your narratives for the management. So this tool is really intuitive and helps you, especially if you are at a startup level or if you are a growing company, to generate multiple scenarios. I really believe the team behind is really strong and will bring a lot of new features. So watch into it if you are a startup and if you want real financial planning tool that is also made not only for finance, but for the management and for the other departments. Next position, Raidu. I love Raidu because it does what I hate it 
wanted to do when I was head of finance. And we had with my team to process all of the receipt during one week in a room. This is not a work that finance professionals want to do. You should let that to the computer to just read the receipts, boot that in the machine and also see where are the problems and also like those rules with VAT with some exceptions this is not fun for humans to do that so let that to the machine and instead spend more time on more valuable tasks and Raidu allows you that so the employees they will scan their receipt and then the receipt will be booked in the system and review if it respects the policies of the company and if it doesn't really respect the policies then first you will save money and second you save also time because it's a lot of time having to work on these topics and for both the employee you get money faster and for the finance team then you have more time to spend on other activities that are much more valuable next one is trillion Trillion is incredible because they don't do only one good thing. They do three good finance tasks. The one that they have been developing a lot recently is audit. They are helping both audit companies, but also company being audited to prepare the audit. As an ex-auditor, because I worked for eight years for PwC, when I saw that this tool could analyze the financial statements, tick everything and see where were the problems, cross-reference, I was like, wow, I wish this existed when I was an auditor. And the founder, Isaac, also really smart. So I really believe in this company. And they have two other functions like lease accounting. It will read the lease and it will propose a booking for you plus also the notes for your financial statements so the information you need for your financial statements and the third one revenue recognition it will read the sales contract and also do for you the revenue recognition step by step that we all know in us gap but also in ifrs it's quite complicated and this tool does it in both us gap and ifrs big companies like siemens and walmart are already working with trillion so i really believe this is a company to look for and also to watch out what they are going to develop in the future now this company is to automate your accounting if you are a startup this is puzzle and what is cool with puzzle they are really strict with who should use puzzle basically the prerequisite your sub ledgers need to have strong apis and clean data inside so revenue with stripe headcounts management and payroll with gusto bank with mercury expense with bill so if you have those sub ledger then it will feed into puzzle and puzzle will be able to do 99% of your accounting automatically because of the quality of this subledger. And then you can work with Slack, you can work with really fun tools to do your accounting. Puzzle also generates really in a matter of minutes insight for the management and all of the reports that you need as a startup. I talk with also Sasha Orloff, the founder, and Sasha really knows what he's doing. He's also well integrated in the Silicon Valley. So this is again a company to follow. Now, a year European company Zapliance. Zapliance is based in Germany. Many focus on SAP use cases. And one of the use cases is to identify the duplicate invoices that are in SAP thanks to AI algorithm scanning through the transactions and identifying the parents. Another use case they have is to identify the VAT you could recover and that you could not have seen before because either you encoded wrongly the VAT or in the system is not clean enough. But by going through all of the invoices and all of the transactions, the appliance can identify for you VAT that you could claim back. Quite cool if you need some cash. And I thought with their founder, Alex, I think the advantage in the appliance is that the team behind is also before they were accountant, they were auditor, so they know what they do and they have a good knowledge of SAP and AI because they are also linked with the university in Hamburg. Have a look if you are using SAP, this might be a tool for you. Last tool, Namra. Namura is in Ireland and Namura basically created a virtual assistant called Mari, which comes on top of your system, has access and does your accounting receivables, your accounting payables, and can even do for you some Excel works that are too complicated for a human. Well, Mari will come and help you in your accounting. I found the name quite cool and it humanizes this tool. So look also for this Numera. 
if you are in Europe, if you are a manufacturing company, this is the kind of company they are helping at the moment. These are my 10 favorite AI tools that you should look into it and I'm sure they are going to get better over time. Now, I recently created another video going over use cases for generative AI in corporate finance. And these use cases will help you save hours every day and make your work better. So in this video that I recommend, I'm not only showing you the exact prompt, I'm actually showing you real time how to use these prompts and to show you the value of these use cases. So to watch this video, just click here. And if you want to continue to receive this video, subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please make a comment, give a like, and I will see you in the next video.